Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a beer called Pesh Mortel. It's an imperial coffee stout and it is by Brasserie du Deceal out of Montreal, Canada. 9.5% uh, alcohol by volume and it is imported to the United States by the Shelton Brothers. So I have had this beer a long time ago and I remember it having a sour aspect to it. It does say it's bottle conditioned, so I don't know if something went awry or if it's kind of supposed to be like that. I don't know. Uh, I didn't like it when I had it some time ago, but then again, I wasn't into sour type beers, so I don't know what the deal is. We'll find out right here. But I will say this is like a two-year-old version of the Pesh Mortel, so don't know what that's going to mean. I would assume that it would mean that the actual coffee notes would be significantly decreased because it's... I've often heard that that's kind of what happens with um, coffee in beers, that over the years the, the coffee really dies down. So here we have the pour of the Pesh Mortel. It was pouring pretty viscous, uh, as you can see what you would expect. It's very, very dark, a little bit brown around the edges. Um, it's got some pretty decent legs sticking to the sides. Ooh, very, very dark chocolatey on the nose. I can smell that coffee too, like crazy. <sighs> Smells a little oaky, a little oaky note. I don't think it's um, barrel aged, but I get that kind of aspect in there. A little vanilla y, tons and tons and tons of cocoa. <sighs> wow. I can smell the alcohol coming through as well. It's got that kind of strong um, alcohol raisiny note on the end. It smells really good. Okay, well this is not like the one I had some time ago because that one was kind of sour. This is not at all. A lot of chocolate to it. A lot of dark chocolate aspect to it. Mm. You can taste that coffee with a nice roasty aspect to it. It's not like a fresh green coffee. It's like a straight up roasted type coffee. Um, mm. Pretty solid. Let me see if they're, yeah, just Imperial Coffee Stout. Oh, it's brewed with real fair trade coffee. So, way to be socially conscious. I like that Brasserie du Ducille. This doesn't blow me away, but it's nice. I like it quite a bit. I would say when I was smelling it and I was saying I was getting some kind of like oak, oaky note on the aroma, I feel like I get a kind of like woody, oaky aspect on the flavor too, so... Maybe it's just me, but I get that, but I like it. So, solid beer, not phenomenal, but good, nice. I would drink it again. Uh, Pesh Mortel, pretty good. This is why it's important to retry a beer. If you have it once and either that batch was off or something happened with the bottle, the keg, whatever, you need to give it a fair chance, give it a shot. Uh, perfect example, this is my second go around with the Pesh Mortel, and Wow, significantly better than the first time I had it. So, awesome. Brasserie du Ducille, thank you for making interesting beer. And thank you everyone for joining me. And go get yourself an awesome beer to sip on.